Mark, just tell us why you're here today. Uh, I won the dream moment for last month for Simon Cox's goal. Awesome. <laughs> Getting get back, back. Get him back, making up for it, won it back brilliantly. And he's done a good job in the end. Shouldn't have had to do it. But in the end, won it. And then has played a great ball forward towards Cox. He controls and lost it over the goalkeeper. What a goal that is from Simon Cox. What was it about the goal that made you pick that as the dream moment? It was just technique to just to flick it at the keeper like he did was international quality as he is. So yeah, it was just awesome. And how excited are you to come to the training ground today and to meet Simon and present him oh, with his prize. It's a, it's a boy or dream. I'm yeah. 27 and I'm like a little kid, I ain't slept for two days. and It's just awesome, I've never done anything like this before, it's just immense. Yeah, boy or dream. So Simon, you're the winner of the Bed Chambers Dream Moment of the Month for that rather simple goal you scored against Birmingham. Yeah, no, you know, terrific honour. This, uh, you know, it's, it's up there with one of my best goals, so uh, you know, thank you for everyone who voted and, you know, I'm proud to accept the award. Just talk us through what was going through your head as the ball dropped over from Lewis. Uh, well, it was a great pick out and, uh, you know, I was just trying to just trying to control it. I wasn't wasn't meaning to, to pop it up. It was just one of those things that, you know, it popped up and, and I was able to, to, to lob it over the keeper. You know, he kind of made my mind up because he came rushing out, so it was quite a simple finish in the end. Uh, you know, I was just happy it went, uh, it got under the bar. You've scored some rather spectacular goals in your time at Nottingham Forest. Is that the best one out of compared to that one to Wigan? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd say so. Um, you know, Wigan was was up there just because it was obviously it, one. It was in the cup, and they're always special nights. But it was against a, a Premier League team um, and and a terrific goalkeeper who's been in great form. You know, for them. Uh, but now the uh, the Birmingham goal was a, was probably one of my best. Yeah, and it was part of a. It was a goal that led to you getting what was a vital point in the end. Yeah, it was. Uh, it started the comeback, and obviously, you know, I'd been away on international duty. I got a little knock, and as soon as uh, as soon as I knew that I was able to play, uh, you know, the manager made the decision to put me on the bench, which was fine by me because I did a bit of travelling. Um, but you know, I was I was happy to come on and you know, expect the the comeback. Well, congratulations, and I hope you spend your voucher wisely. <laughs> I will do that one. For your chance to win and present one of the players with their prize, just pick a moment from one of the six coming up. Headed away by Collins. Good header away, commanding header away. Now Cox nods it down the left-hand side for Reid, who heads it ahead of himself and races forward towards the penalty area, Andy Reid. Corner of the penalty area. What a strike! Left-footed top corner from Andy Reid. Brilliant hit and Forrest are in front. Magnificent goal from the Forest man who celebrates in front of 3,000 travelling fans in the sunshine away to our left. He's hit that with everything, Reid. From the left corner of the penalty area, it's flown inside the far post, top corner. Water this time, Reid trying to turn on the right-hand side of the penalty area. Half challenge, but gives it to Halford anyway. Halford then crosses. Collins is arriving now at the back post. It's pulled all the way back here for Cohen to strike. Came off Craney. A chance there and helped in and a goal. Billy Sharp for Nottingham Forest. Great reaction.
from Sharp. Cohen's effort was going goalwards, but it had no power. And Sharp just flicked his right boot at it and sends it beyond Jilks. Blackpool nil, Nottingham Forest won. 25 minutes gone at Bloomfield Road. It's Billy Sharp for Forest. Here's Genus looking left for Harding. It wasn't the best of balls, a bit short. Harding's done well. He's fed it to his left to Reed. Reed is away from Dicko. In comes the cross right footer. Blackstock is there. Blackstock with a chance. Blackstock scores. 2 2 Forrest. Dexter Blackstock on the stroke of 90 minutes. Blackstock back in the team, back in the goals. But brilliant from Andy Reed. Blackstock celebrates in front of the Forest fans right in front of us. It's 2 2 at Bluefield Road in injury time. Cox chests it down again and helps it on towards Reed. Foster there, first mistake. Let's Reed in. Reed into the penalty area. Squares it back. Oh, it's just evaded Raddy Majewski. Sharp will recover it and he gives it to Cohen. And Cohen left footed. Sends one into the top corner. 25 yards. A blast from Chris Cohen's left foot. And Forrest a 3 1 ahead. Barnsley all over the place at the back. A situation that Stephen Foster really ought to have covered. Ended up with Andy Reid wriggling away down the left-hand side. And no, his ball back for Raddy Majewski was not accurate enough. Billy Sharp fed it into Chris Cohen, who has absolutely thundered one into the top corner. Remember to win, just pick one of the six moments from the list above and then head on over to thebedchambers.co.uk and cast your vote.